This is your host, Maggie B, here at the Dallas AFI Film Festival, and I am joined by the Oscar-nominated and award-winning director and writer of The Burning Plain, Guillermo Arriaga, as well as the actor who plays Nick in the film of The Burning Plain, and it is Joaquin de la Meda. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So, Joaquin, um, is this the first time you've worked with Guillermo? And how was your experience? Well, this and I had a great time because Guillermo gave, the, gave me the opportunity to do a film, uh, a character that's a very uh, incredibly sensitive man, uh, involved in a, in a love affair with, I mean, he's a married man involved with a married woman uh, that has a health problem. That's, let's not talk about it so yeah. that people go and see it. <laughs> I don't want to go much into that. But it's, it, it's true love. It's true love, uh, true dedication. Uh, there's a great line when I say, I'll wait for you every day at 12 o'clock. Yeah. And, uh, and he does wait for her every day at 12 o'clock, and she finally comes back. And, uh, you know, all my scenes are just with Kim Bassinger. Uh, we love in the in the film. And uh, it, it was a deep emotional experience, uh, two characters that are very emotionally connected in many different ways, not only because they have a, a, an affair that uh, can't be brought to light, but because of, of this, uh, the particular situation that she is in. And uh, it, it was great because, you know, uh, Guillermo, even if it's his first time directing, it didn't seem to be his first time directing. And Guillermo was great in the way he, he really, because he wrote it and he felt every character, he spoke to us, uh, he spoke to emotions, he spoke to our hearts, he spoke to feelings. And uh, once we had understanding, uh, a deep understanding, actually it was not difficult to, because the, the way he writes, uh, even the dialogues are, you know, I, I don't think I ever worked that way, that I, I learned the dialogues as we were rehearsing because they just were so easy to, 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 to come through. And um, and I had a great experience with Kim because we I, I had just finished the film on Friday. I flew to from Europe to, to, to the States and I sh we started shooting on Monday, so I didn't have really much time to to meet with Kim and talk about it. I had spoken with Guillermo and uh, we were spoken about the character, but as we were working, we, 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 we came up, we found things, and uh, it was a, a great experience because he talks with actors, uh, unlike other directors that uh, are too concerned with the, with the lenses and with the, with the, with the camera. He's, con he's a director that directs actors, you know. He's, he's con he, for him, direct the actors are a big part of is the important part of the film. Now, um, here in the U.S., we're used to seeing you play very um, crime lord, rough roles, and as you had mentioned, this role it reaches into more of a tender side. How did you feel about transitioning into this role? Did you enjoy this role, and would you like to play more roles like this? Obviously, you know, but, you know, I've done... Uh, about 70 movies in my in my lifetime, and uh, in Europe I play a lot of different characters. Uh, but in the States, I started playing about, uh, the big film. I mean, I did some comedy like Only You and things. Yeah. But I've played the mostly being recognized from playing bad guys. <laughs> and once you play bad guys, unfortunately, in this country, people say, "Oh, we need we have this big bad guy. Who is the reliable bad guy? Joaquin Almeida. Get the bad guy." And uh, it, but it's, it's the truth. And it, I've always tried in the, when I play the bad guys, make them interesting, make them sensitive. Uh, you know, uh, it's like in 24 when he, he kills his own brother, uh, I have a, a tear coming down my ear because I think people are humans. And even if they're, ba if they, they, they're bad guys, they're humans, you know, their feelings. Here, it was great, and I, that's why one of the reasons I wanted so much to do this film, too, not only because I loved the script and wanted to work with Guillermo because I'd seen his other three films and enjoyed them a lot, but because I had the chance to show, come on, think of me in a different way. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, now I've been playing uh, good guys, and uh, right now I'm doing a pilot where I play a, a good guy. I play a doctor out of a hospital, so there you go. But it's because these are characters that I've played in Europe all the time, and I, I think 
and I love playing sensitive people and the people with emotions, you know. Uh, so this was a great, a great experience, and I'm very glad I had the chance. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you in your role, and I know that the American audiences are going to just fall in love with you. And again, your films are just so fantastic, and we thank you so much for sharing your brilliance with us. And we're looking forward to the release of the film. And when will the film be released? Uh, the film is going to be released in September. It's going to be on, on, on every th th city, and I hope that everyone will go see it. Again, thank you so much for joining us. And again, this is Maggie B here at the Dallas AFI Film Festival with the, the director and writer and the actor of The Burning Plane. Make sure you go see it this fall. I just came out here to dance and do my thing. You can get me, baby, like you're buying bling. Well, you're acting like you want to take me home. I just ain't the way to step into my zone. If you're nice and let you get a little close, let them mean that I be taking off my clothes.